pit of eternal sands. No one has ever come out. Maybe because no one has ever entered. One more step, Sargon. Did you betray us? What are you talking about? Tell me the truth. Did you kill Prince Hassan? What? No. Barum did. Nait, I would not lie to you. Where is Anahita? I don't know, Nait. I did not kill Hassan. I know you can't lie when you're angry. It's just... Varum told us a different story. Prince Hassan is dead. Sargon killed him. Wow. That takes balls. Varum, this sounds like nonsense. I can't believe it myself. Where is Sargon now? He fled with Anahita. He sides with his mentor. With the prince gone, Persia is threatened. If there's anyone fit to lead, it's you, Varum. What about Queen Tamiris? <laughs> Famine, drought, people suffering, Kushan, attacks. She's had 30 years to prove herself. I am no leader without you, but together, we can restore Persia. My bow is yours, Varum. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Persia, people. But what about the kid? It pains me to say this, but Sargon must not interfere. Varum, where are you going with this? We must stop Sargon and Anahita. By any means necessary. You all agree to this? Agree or disagree, it's high time to trim his sails once and for all. Find them. Of course. They all believed him. Except me. And... Artaban. He has always believed in you. You can't stay here. I can feel Radjen is after us. So... This is the end for the Immortals. We're hunting each other now. The end is not yet written. Stay on the move. Don't look back.
What do we have here? A traveler who seems to know the way, but is forever led astray. I can enlighten you, if you wish. I can light your way through some of Mount Koff's darkest corners, if you'll allow me. How could I refuse? Thank you, friend. I'm not afraid of the dark. I've come to enlighten you as promised.
Even my light cannot shine beyond the place of its beginning. Goodbye, Sargon. Nice one, you found another path in the depths. I will light your way if you dare come back here. Sargon, are you? Oh, crumbs and sour skies. You're not ready to enter the pit of eternal sands yet. You will need more of the Simorg's power just to break the seal to the pit. To meet the darkest of souls and strike a deal to save your friend. You must show proof of courage and proof of cleverness. Courage and cleverness? Listen carefully. Among the trees, a challenge awaits. A daunting path where courage tempts fate. Beneath the boughs, secrets lie. Only the brave will dare to try. And? A labyrinth. Where knowledge finds its home. Within winding aisles, the seekers roam. With cleverness and guidance, no answer is unknown. I'll prove I have what it takes to save Hassan. You are driven and spirited, just as I thought. Use your eye, er, uh, thingamawatsit, to find your next Simorg feather. As for me, I don't want to be here when all hell breaks loose. W what do you mean, when all hell breaks loose? I do want to watch, though. Hmm. Well, good luck, Sargon.
Good to see you. Artaban, I need to tell you something. After I defeated the Manticore, I found a feather charged with energy. A relic of the Simorg? Oh, I've only read of its blessings through scriptures, but to even find one... I can slip through space and move through it in an instant. Perhaps you can use it to regain control after being thrown. This power has real potential, but it seems you must put your feet on the ground before using it again. Staying in the air for longer must also have its advantages, like chasing down an airborne enemy. If you develop any other skills, come and see me again. I cannot guarantee that I can teach you everything, but I can try. Did you acquire another feather? I can rewind myself, go back in space, Back to where I was and what I was doing. Can you use it to charge a wave of Athra once and unleash it twice? <laughs> Seems these powers were meant for you, Sargon. It's up to you how to use them. You look terrible. What's happened? I wouldn't know where to begin, but I'm relieved to see a friendly face. I have to say, I envy your determination and resilience. This place had me defeated from the start. Don't look at it that way, Artaban. The chaotic nature of time here, it's easy to get lost in one's mind. With you here, it's like you're a cornerstone, something reliable to hold on to. Sargon, for whatever else has happened or yet to come, I think you've grown wiser.
Sargon? You must be very sad. Not much escapes you, does it? I failed in my duty. Why did it happen? That's what I intend to find out. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs>